Hey, what's going on guys? This is Paul, the Scorpion Trucker. And I'm excited today. Uh, I'm gonna be making this video all about my mentors. I mentioned it in my last video, so here we are. I'm excited because these are people who really helped me out. When I was just getting started, uh, I was a company driver and I wanted to be an owner operator. They helped me along the way and they continue to help me along the way. Many of these, many of these people are successful truck drivers themselves. Some of them have actually failed lessons to be learned. Hey, I'm going to be right back and tell you all about my mentors. No matter where we look, in society, in sports, in entertainment, in pretty much every facet of life, those people who have been most successful in whatever endeavor, business, whatever they've been a part of, they've always had some type of mentor. Somebody who has given them advice, who has given them praise, maybe even criticism to help them get on their way. Today I'm going to be talking about my mentors. All of them, the ones I'm going to mention, are still in business. They're in business to this day. Some of them have had some really, really rough times. I think all of them have been through very, very rough times. Uh, but all of them have triumphed and they're still in business today. Most of them I've never met. By watching their channels, I've been able to pick up these gems of information that have helped me in the very beginning when I was um, making the transition. Well, in fact, well before I made the transition from a company driver to an owner operator. The first one, Steve Snorlord Ellington. I've known Steve for about, personally, I've known Steve for almost two years, but I first saw his YouTube videos going back about six years ago. In fact, the very first video I saw of him, he was dealing with a major breakdown. So seeing him go through that and how he triumphed through that was, I mean, huge. I mean, it's not all snicker bars and smiles out here. So to see someone go through some difficult times, it really gives you a reality, the good, the bad, and the ugly of this industry. So he really helped me a lot, Steve. I have had the opportunity to meet Steve um, uh, three times, I believe. Met him at Matt's last year, and I've met him a couple times for uh, once for lunch and once for breakfast and when I was passing through Missouri. Steve is an analyst, and I love that about him. He knows the markets well. Um, as a dispatcher now, he has a lot of experience in um, freight markets, freight volumes, um, uh, annual cycles, and those things have been a huge help for me as well as learning my numbers as a truck driver. Steve and I talk pretty much on a regular basis because I utilize his uh, dispatch service. So uh, yeah, Steve is a great guy. Uh, we connect on uh, mu well, music. He's, he's, he's a rocker. <laughs> I'm a smooth jazz guy, but still we connect. Uh, I, I, appreciate, I appreciate what he does with music. Uh, he's someone that I look up to in trucking. I thank you, Steve. I thank you as a mentor, as someone who I do call regularly whenever I have questions and advice. And uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Secondly, SoCal Trucker. I first saw SoCal's videos going back probably four years ago, maybe. And uh, SoCal, is a, SoCal is a good businessman. He's a survivor. He has uh, had some major health problems that he has overcome. Always give him kudos to you, man. Um, fantastic, what a journey that is. But he also knows trucking and uh, he knows different aspects of trucking. Uh, flatbed, heavy haul, that type of stuff. 
so I really learned a lot from SoCal. In fact, when I was a company driver and looking to lease on to my first company, uh, it was on SoCal's advice that I was able to lease on to that company. And uh, SoCal still in business, still cranking, still doing well. Peace, brother. Thirdly, DIY Semi. Um, I first saw DIY Semi probably going back five years. As a company driver, I knew I wanted to be an owner operator and I knew I wanted to, uh, someday I would own my own truck. Um, way back five years ago, I was already researching how to work on my own truck. The first video I ever saw from DIY Semi was showing how to change the oil on a Freightliner. <laughs> uh, I have watched your videos so many times or I've watched his videos so many times. He works on his own trucks. He is a mechanic. He does a great job. Uh, when I first tuned in to him, it was primarily because of that. But since then, I guess in the past three years, I've really watched his channel and learned how to become a better business person. Um, just recently, I uh, saw an interview he had with a gentleman by the name of Paul, and they were talking about how this time of year, well, it's April now, but earlier in the year, February, March, how companies would be looking for RFPs, request for proposals. I heard that interview while I was on my way back from being out for about four weeks, and I immediately thought of a company to contact who I had done work with before. I contacted that company and they are now a direct company of mine, a direct shipper. Thank you, DIY Semi. Great businessman. Definitely check out his channel. In fact, check out, I will leave links. Most of you will know these people anyway, but if you don't, I will leave links in the, in the description to all of their channels because you want to check them out. Nextly, Making Sense. Love this guy's accent. He's been uh, on YouTube for many years now. Uh, another fantastic businessman. I've learned a lot from him um, in terms of also with freight volumes, um, freight lanes. Um, he has run all over the country, and uh, that's something that I really um, admired about him because uh, you look at some of his videos sometimes, and he's like, yeah, I'm in California. Yeah, I'm in Nevada. Yeah, I'm in Kansas. I believe he's based in... Uh, Georgia, I think. But anyway, uh, smart businessman. Uh, when things got difficult with the industry, uh, he made some moves that were great for his business. Again, fantastic examples. Um, these are all people who have um, safety in mind. They have great tips for people who are wanting to become an owner operator. Making sense is one of them. Making moves. He just released a video today. He's going to be having merch on his channel. Check him out. Nextly, 404 Trucker. I first saw 404 Trucker about four years ago. Um, another uh, great businessman talking about investments. He was sharing tips about other income streams outside of trucking, real estate, investments, that type of thing. Incredibly smart guy. Um, still working, still going, still doing his thing. So check him out. Next, Big Face Trucker. I have been following his journey from when he started at Schneider, Schneider Finance. And um, I have seen this man grind and grind and grind for years. What an inspiration. Uh, he has overcome hardships, a death in the family, while being on the road, heartbreaking, and still in the game. Got his own authority. This man is a mover and he is a shaker. I would recommend you take a look at some of his videos and see what he has to say. He drops so much information. And um, Big Face Trucker, thank you, man. I, um, I reached out to you um, before I joined the first company that I was leased onto uh, for some advice. And thank you for that advice. Next guy, Trucker Todd. Uh, I first saw his channel probably about three and a half years ago. I was 
almost in transition from company to uh, owner operator. I was looking for companies that I could join. I was following him on his channel. At the time he was with Roadrunner. I was considering going to Roadrunner. I got in contact with him on his, through his channel and we spoke on the phone several times. Uh, he's a 20, at least a 24, 25 year veteran truck driver, a great guy, uh, very safety conscious. He is a good resource to teach you about lease purchases. Uh, a lot of knowledge there, and uh, I still check out his channel to this day. I love his intro music. Uh, he is a wise gentleman in this industry, and uh, he has survived the ups and downs, and he's still doing very well. Thank you, Trucker Todd. I appreciate it. Nextly, Still Hogging TV. Man, this guy has been through up down. This guy is a survivor. Not only is he a survivor, but he is a fantastic businessman. If you want to learn about um, trials, difficulties in trucking, uh, I would check out his channel. It is a huge resource. I have been watching him uh, for probably, I'm guessing, four and a half years, somewhere around there. And I've seen this man succeed, crash and burn, get back up and keep going. Uh, what a success story and uh, many lessons there. And you know, a lot of the lessons out here guys are, it's, you know, it's not just a straight road up. You know, it's not just a trajectory to success. No, there are a lot of difficulties, a lot of problems, a lot of, um, times where things just don't go well. Still still hogging TV, you have gone through so much. You're still doing your thing. You live in Arizona now, peace. I was following you, you and Cali. And um, again, check out his channel um, and you will learn a lot about how to persevere um, from a lot of his experiences. At this point, I wanna to talk to you about the man that um, I would not be an owner operator right now if it wasn't for this man. I'm talking about Mr. Jeffrey Like, Like Trucking. Um, thank you, Jeff, for being uh, an incredible mentor. Um, I get a little emotional because um, I studied you, I studied Jeff's channel for the longest, about six years going back. I found him when I was a company driver, when I had first got into a truck, I found him. I found his YouTube channel and um, at the time, you know, I had no idea I would even become an owner operator, to tell you the truth. That really wasn't, I didn't have my sights really set on that. I thought I would be a company driver, maybe work for a company like FedEx or UPS, something like that. But when that clearly wasn't gonna work for me, Jeff was the one. I studied his channel, all of his videos. I was a student of Jeffrey Like, and I learned the good, the bad, and the ugly of this industry because of his experience. Um, he mentioned many times in a lot of his videos, when he got started in the industry, he really didn't have anybody to show him anything. He'll tell you how he sat around, he tried to, to get information at truck stops, and this is going, going back probably 30 plus years now at this point, um, when he first started. Um, so he learned a lot on his own, he learned a lot through hard knocks, and that's a tough road to haul in this industry. You know, this industry is not forgiving at all. And the thing I really, really gravitated to with Jeff is that Jeff is, a, Jeff is just a straightforward guy. And I've seen him over the years take slack from people who didn't believe that they needed to get, say, interstate authority. And Jeff would say, no, you need to get interstate authority. And I would see people on his live feed, 
continuing to kind of bash him and get on him about it. And he would, he would always say, you know, if you don't get interstate authority, if you don't have your uh, liquor permit and you're hauling liquor through certain states and you get nailed, it's not going to be good for you. You know, and people would continue to criticize him for years about that type of stuff. Well, you know what? I'd like to hear from some of those who didn't do what Jeff said and maybe got caught. Where are those people? They, you know, they probably don't want to tell that story because he was right. You know, sometimes in order to be uh, a professional, you're going to have to go above and beyond what you may even feel comfortable with. That may mean if you're running in certain areas to put out the money to get interest rate authority, to get uh, liquor permits, all that stuff. You know, I learned all of that from Jeff. I learned to get out of debt. When I got into trucking, I had zero debt. We had paid our debts down. I had no debt. I learned from you, Jeff, and I say it, make it personal, how to pick out a truck. You know, how do you go about picking out a truck? You want to get a truck? You want to be an owner operator? I would say go back and watch his videos going back years and years. If you're really, really serious about learning this business, go back and check out some of his stuff. Treating this as a business is the biggest thing that I learned from Jeff. I really don't understand when people get into becoming an owner operator, the mindset that, you know, the minute you buy a truck, you know, the open sign to your business opens. And if you're thinking that um, it's not a business, um, I really don't understand. I don't understand that. But I guess people do and they don't do very well. It doesn't work out very well for them. And for those of you out there who want to become owner operators, maybe you've never owned a business before. All the more, you need a mentor to help you through, to counsel you through, to give you advice on all sorts of things. Because in trucking, there are so many different areas that you really need to have down. You really do. Before you pull the trigger and go put your money down and buy a truck, you really need to have a coach, you need to have a mentor, you need to have someone who can help you learn the business. Maybe you don't have a business mind right now. You're thinking to myself, well, I've never really owned a business before. I don't, maybe, you know, I don't know if I can do it. You can do it, but you need to make sure that you've got people around. You need to study, find a mentor. Jeff was mine. When I found him, I knew he was the guy. And I watched him every day. When I was at a truck stop, I pulled up his videos. I looked back at some of his old videos. I think I've watched all of his videos. And, um, and I take notes. I would have a notepad out and I'm taking notes. It was like being in school about trucking from a veteran in the industry who knows the business. And um, yeah, I am indebted to you. I would not be in business if it weren't for you. I thank you so very much for being a mentor, a friend. Again, thank you so much. Oh, and there is someone else that I definitely want to mention as someone who has been an inspiration to me on my trucking journey. And that is Trucker Gal. I want to thank you, Sheila, for your journey. Uh, if you haven't seen her channel before, yeah, I would check it out. It's uh, very entertaining. But what I've learned from you, Sheila, and been very inspired by is fitness. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you posting um, your trucking journey and the fitness that you're able to maintain your journey in uh, your struggle with health and that type of thing. And I really, really appreciate that. And it's been an inspiration for me. You got me doing push-ups and doing all kinds of stuff in my truck now. It's important for us, um, not only owner operators, but truck drivers in general to maintain our health when we're on the road. So thank you, Sheila. I thank you all. Everyone that I've mentioned here today, thank you all so much because you have had a huge impact on me and my business it's because I'm still learning. You know, I'm still looking for information. I'm still trying to get better. I'm still on this journey. And um, again, three and a half years into it, but I'm in, but I'm in it for the long haul. So I plan on being around again. Thank you all for all of your hard work, sacrifice, and the example and mentorship 
that you have given me. Thank you so much. Next time, I'm going to talk about the companies that I have leased on to and the decisions that were made as to why I leased on to those companies. Hey guys, I really appreciate you checking out my channel. This is the Scorpion Trucker, out.